Welcome to Sports School. I'm Coach Tom Martin. Balance. Balance is the key to being a good hockey player. You must work on having a good athletic stance. That means your head's up, your shoulders are square, your knees are bent. When you're doing turning, stopping, skating, anytime you must stay in balance. It's really important that you work on your balance when you're hitting, shooting, weight transfer. All those skills mean balance. When we do drills today, you will shift your weight from your left to your right, Make sure you work on your balance. It's very important. It will make you a better hockey player. Balance. To a young hockey player, an old hockey player, an in-between hockey player, balance is, is key. It's the essence of the game. Everything is based upon balance, whether you're shooting the puck, you're skating, you're stopping, you're giving a hit, you're taking a hit, you're standing in front of the net. You have to have those knees bent, your feet in a comfortable position, and you have to use the core of your body to keep your balance because if you have balance it allows you to do other things with your stick keep your head up do things that other players might not be able to do if they're more focused on standing and balancing so it's a real key element of the game and it's something that you will continually have to work on and improve if you want to move up the ladder in hockey in this segment we are going to work on some fundamentals in hockey basic balance stopping and starting In the basic balance drills, we're going to work on the athletic stance, right and left leg lift, alternate leg lift, and edge control. Coaches, the setup for this drill is to line the players up on the goal line in single file and to skate in a straight line down the ice, executing the drill between the blue lines. The players will be asked to coast down the ice in a good athletic stance feet shoulder width apart, knees bent, heads up. Remember, same body position, just lift that right leg, balance that hip, good balance, leg in front, nice knees sit. bent, good. In this drill, we'll be asking the players to lift the right leg, coasting on their left leg, staying in the athletic stance and making sure that their foot does not wobble. Head up, knees bent. Now we'll try lifting the left leg, coasting on the right foot. Same athletic stance, head up, straight lines. And right into lifting the right leg, lifting the left leg, lifting the right leg again. Make sure we coast in a straight line, stay in the athletic stance. Head up, knees bent. Coaches, make sure the foot does not wobble. That's good balance. We're gonna use our edges outside, inside edge. Back and forth, keep your balance. In the edge control drill, this is a very difficult drill, coaches, and sometimes you'll find that the younger players will be wobbling. That's okay. As they get older, they'll learn to use the inside and outside edge on their skate. They will be doing more cutting. And make sure they work on both skates. It takes a bit of time. It is a very advanced drill. Now we're gonna work on stopping. The basic stop, the directional change stop, forwards to backwards, backwards to forward. The key to good hockey players is knowing how to stop well. In this drill, we will be working on a basic stop. Players will skate from one end of the ice to the other, stopping at the blue line, the center line, and the blue line. Heads up, good balance, knees bent. Bend your knees, bend your knees. Make sure you keep your knees bent, shoulders square, making sure that you turn your body completely parallel to the turn. In the directional change, stagger your blocks 10 feet apart across the ice. Have the player stop at each block, always facing in the same direction. We're going to stop at each block. We will drive into the block using our outside foot, allowing our inside foot to start. Make sure you bend your knees and drive into the block. Use your knees as a cushion. Sit. That's turn it. Turn and drive, Brody. Turn and drive. That's it. That's it. Heads up. That's, That's it. it, Brody. Keep your head up. Now, stay good and square. Excellent. You want to work on your inside skate driving, and you'll see how the foot crosses over and drives. In this drill, we're going to work on stopping frontwards to backwards. 
Coaches, the setup for this drill is again, stagger your blocks 10 feet apart across the ice. Have the player skate forward, stopping at the first block, reversing direction, skating backwards to the next block, stop, and then drive forward to the next block. Good balance, drop the rear end, drop the rear end. Make sure that we drive the inside foot into the ice when we make that turn going backwards. When we're stopping backwards, you want to make sure that you V your skates to get the power of the forward start. Make sure you really bend your knees. That gives you the balance to turn and to go backwards, to get the good crossovers. Difficult drill, coaches, but a very important drill. We're done stopping. Now we have to work on your starting. We'll work on the basic start, the directional change, and we'll work on a C-stride to give you power. Coaches, with the basic start, set the players up at one end of the ice, on the goal line, and drive down the ice. Good V start, where you go, drive to the ice. Okay, more leg. That's it, hard, hard, push out. When you're doing your starts, make sure that your heels are towed in and your toes are out. You want to have that outside power of the blade pushing down on the ice, giving you maximum resistance. Okay. A little more action with your feet. A little more action with your feet. After the start, lengthen your stride. Use power. Drive in hard. Definitely balance is very important. Uh, you know, I think the one thing, uh, especially when you see the, the top European players, uh, you know, I, I can just relate to, to Sergei Fedorov, uh, the balance that he has on the ice, uh, the way he can make sharp turns and, and, and the importance of not only making a sharp turn, but coming out of it full speed. And I think uh, you, you see players like that, how graceful they are and, and, and how low they can get to the ice, the center of gravity that they use. It's so important, uh, you know, you have big strong defensemen trying to chase you and, and that's how you want to try to get rid of them um, and, and, and balance whether, you know, you're going for a loose puck or if there's a battle along the boards, all of that comes into play. So there's, there's a lot of drills that can be worked on and the, and the one thing that I've always said is you get an opportunity to work on your skating. It's something that you always want to do. Now coaches in this drill, we're going to be working on directional change. So we will set up beside the net with a line of players. We will set three blocks out in front and they will drive out to each block. At each block they drive in, change direction, back to the other side, making sure they're stopping on both sides. The key is to make sure when they start, they get the V in their skates. We have to work on the stop and the start. That's the key. Good balance, driving hard. Coaches, you can add more blocks to make it more difficult. After the players have become quite adept at working on their stopping, give them more. It's also a good conditioning drill. Get into the V. Get into the V. Keep your head up. Look at the target. Look at the target. Drive hard. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Don't look at your feet. Get into the V. Keep your head up. Look at the target. Look at the target. Drive hard. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Don't look at your feet. That's it. Drive. Drive hard, guys. Coaches, the C push drill is the same setup as the basic start. Set the players up at one end of the ice on the goal line and then drive down the ice. Okay, let's do hard heel pushes, heel toe C. When we work on a C stride, what we're doing is we're teaching the players to push out with their heel and bring it back in, not dragging their foot behind them. Making sure they stay down in the athletic stance. You want the snap on the heel, pull in with the toe. That brings a nice C push and stride. Once you get it up, then bring it back in hard. That's it. Bring it, bring it Drive it, Brody, that's it. Keep going, Brody, keep going. After we've done the right foot, we do the left foot, and then we go to combination. Left and right, left and right. This allows the player to feel like he's pushing out to the side with power. In this segment, coaches, we worked on our balance, always trying to stay in the athletic stance. Whether you are starting or stopping, you must keep your knees bent for power and control. 
Balance is the key to being a good skater. So you want to work hard on your stopping both ways and learn how to start up quickly from any direction. Coaches, you can modify these drills to the skill level on the ice. Putting these skills together will make you a better hockey player.